So far in this course we have looked at horizontal support and resistance being areas in the markets where uptrends reverse and become downtrends and when downtrends reverse and become uptrends and we've looked at horizontal support and resistance on the ends of pushes and pullbacks such as the head and shoulders pattern where we have a support here and resistance here and we've also looked at dynamic support and resistance that is support or resistance formed by a moving average when price reaches a moving average and price can change direction. In this video we're going to continue looking at support and resistance and the patterns that support and resistance forms. First of all I want to look at the support and resistance of a channel. A channel is a form of support and resistance that is generally created on a trend and will form a channel in the market. As price trends it will move between this area of support and resistance. and will look similar to something like this. To demonstrate this, let's look at this uptrend in June. Once again, this is the pound against the dollar and it's a four hourly chart. If we were to look at this trend and identify the pushes and the pullbacks of the trend, Upon observation, we would notice there's a diagonal support run, running along this trend. If we draw a trend line, this diagonal support or channel support will be even more clear. You'll notice each time price reaches this line of support on the uptrend it marks the end of the pullback and price goes for another push. We have channel support and resistance. Where there's support, there generally is a resistance, and when there's resistance, there's a support. And to form a channel, the support and resistance lines need to be symmetrical. So if we duplicate our support line, we can place it as a resistance and form a channel. If we look at this downtrend in June and July, of 2013, we can do something very similar. If we identify the pushes and pullbacks of this downtrend, we can use these areas to draw a line of support in the market. This support area can then be duplicated and used as a resistance. So how can channel support and resistance help us as we trade? If we were to identify this push, pullback, push and pullback, this downtrend pattern in the market, we could draw a support line connecting this bottom and this bottom which would create this line here. With that line in place when price then falls and the trend continues 
We could use this as a signal to close a position. You'll notice the line is rejected here and here, and soon after goes for a pullback. We could also use this channel support and resistance to identify areas to open positions with price. Once again, if price was downtrending and we had marked these two areas as the ends of pushes and created a line, when we had duplicated that line, and put it against the previous pullback we could have used this area here to open a position and go short and you'll notice the amount of engulfing candles and pin bars that appear on this resistance once again if we identified this uptrend, a push, a pullback, a push. We could draw a trend line connecting the ends of these pullbacks and that would give us a support line for the rest of the trend. When price pulls back again and reaches this support area we have opportunities to buy and go long and follow this trend up you'll notice there are pin bars and engulfing candles on this support line this support can be duplicated and can act as resistance and perhaps be used to know when to close positions. Channels do not always have to be diagonal. A range in market is in fact a channel, a horizontal channel of support and resistance. In our next video we will look at other patterns that are created through support and resistance in the market.